Hi everyone, Matt Carter here from um, the Night Cafe um, Discord. Uh, this one's hot off the presses, guys. Um, Night Cafe just released Stable Diffusion 45 minutes ago. So Stable Diffusion is now live on the Night Cafe website and I'm here to give you a quick overview of it to get you up and running. And then um, once the chaos is finished, uh, if anybody needs any specifics, if there's lots of questions being asked about specifics, we'll get to that. Okay, so let's get started. So normally, yeah, you just go to your normal, just log in to your normal um, Night Cafe account, click Create, and you'll see it here. Click that, and there we have it. Stable Diffusion inside Night Cafe. And it's exactly the same as the bot. There's no difference, nothing. It's perfect. Um, okay, so um, let's try some prompts and let's get into the nitty gritty. Let me just see if I can find um, a prompt to use. Okay, so I've got some. I've got some all from. I'll show you kind of four prompts and then we'll go with it. Um, so. Um, it looks exactly the same as the other stuff apart from some additions. Make sure you've got advanced options on and that's a new addition as well. You can select whatever um, model you like. So um, the only difference is you can't have more than one prompt. So it's all done in one prompt at the moment, but that's going to change, I believe. So here's a interesting prompt. So a painting of a castle in the middle of a forest. Um, detail map painting by senior environment artist, CG Society, go for that map painting, blah, 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 blah. Um, so yeah, um, I did this when I was using the bot, I think, um, because I've got a seed on the original prompt. So let me just put the seed in. Um, now, you, you know about seeds and stuff, I'm sure. If not, check my other videos. And I've, in fact, I've just done another video for seeds, so that will be released at the same time as this. Um, I'm going to put it to uh, widescreen. I like widescreen, and I always like 16 images. Um, prompt weight. So, how much do you want the prompt to match? Um, your, your image to match the prompt. Me, I like it. In this instance, I want it to be 100% this. Um, sampling methods. These are denoise models. Um, if you want to get into the nitty gritty, um, you'll need to ask someone that knows more about it than me. Um, I researched it the other day for a few hours and I was none the wiser. Basically what they are is they tell the AI where the starting points are for the noise generation to create the image and they're slightly different. They are different but it's subtle, almost in the same way seeds are subtle. However, seeds are different in, cohe in stable diffusion. I'll get back to that in a minute, I just remembered. So mess around with them, see what you come up with. Funny enough, I like that one, but I'll leave it on the default here. Going back to seeds. In coherent and artistic, if you create, if I was to create this image with that prompt and that seed, and then you know, create one image with it, and then use the same prompt and the same seed again, they would be different. And um, sometimes subtly, sometimes a lot. It's just the way that the the other two models work. Stable diffusion would be exactly the same. So just remember that. If you see, you know, maybe if you see something that someone else has done. And uh, you want to you want to recreate that yourself to see what happens. You could do that, and you'll get the same result. But if you're going to use other people's prompts and stuff, at least mention the fact that there are other people's prompts. You know, you don't have to be an ass about it um, and pretend that it's yours. You know, it does happen, but there's no need for it. And we're all trying to share the love here, right? So, um, uh, if you see somebody's prompt and you use it. I would, if it was me personally, I would ask them if I could use it and then I would also credit them. But hey, that's just me. But, you know, try and show people a wee bit of courtesy. Right, so that's that. That's that. 16 images. Thank you very much. Now, runtime. That's your, um, uh, that's the steps. So 50, 100 and 150 steps. It basically means it will wait 50 iterations before it starts. It will wait 100 iterations before it starts, not wait 150. It tends to be better the higher it is. However, with stable diffusion, doing that can cause all kinds of weird artifacts. 
um, and with this one, hence there's a note recommended there, um, uh, it can completely destroy your picture. So don't think that because it costs more credits it's better, that is not the case. My normal is that I sometimes do that and I sometimes do that just when I'm experimenting. But I normally do that and as you can clearly see here, um, stable is designed to run at the thumb resolution and square aspect ratio. Why is that? It's because of the images that they train stable diffusion on were that size, basically. And that's why when you do widescreen as well, you can get duplicates. Weird artifacts. We might get some here, we might not. Right, let's have a gander. So, seven credits for 16 images coming up. Let's see how long it takes. 2052. Let's see. In the meantime, I'll just show you some stuff that I've been doing recently. These are just, that's just Mad Hatter stuff. Um, this is Stable Diffusion, some bikers in Tokyo. And because I've done the widescreen, it's done this weird duplicate, but some of them are hilarious. Um, where's that? Look, this one's hilarious. <laughs> I think it's brilliant. I'm not sure what he's up to. He just came off that. Look, he looks like he's got his arm. He thinks he's still holding on to that bike. He looks like he's about to deck him. That's hilarious. Great. I love it when it... Look at that already. 52. All right, maybe a minute. And look at those. You know, there. That's a bit weird. And, right, let's have a look. So we've got some artefacts here that I haven't seen before. Let's see if we can figure out why that is. Let's have a look at these artefacts. Right, okay. I bet you I know what that is. It's because... Oh, it's not. So we've done... Something odd going on there. Widescreen, maybe. So let's put it back to square. We'll keep everything the same and we'll go again. So as I mentioned, um, it wasn't trained on um, wide images. So it may be what's causing these trained artefacts. In all honesty, it's the first I've seen it um, with those settings. Normally I expect duplicates. See, it's trying to duplicate something there. Uh, double up. It's, it's kind of doubled up there, but in a weird way, see? So it's kind of got a wee bit lost here. And we've got a nice result there. You know, that's a cracking image. Um, what else have we got? But yeah, so you've got to be aware of these things. Um, because, you know, it was trained on certain things. Right, we're getting loads and loads of crazy artifacts here. So that maybe... Is there something wrong? Let's have a look and see if we can figure out what might have been causing this. No, I can't figure it out. I don't know what's causing it. And there's nothing kind of sticking out um, that shows because it's... Is it something to do with the prompt, perhaps? Let me go and do a bit of investigation. Okay, as we have this great community here in Night Cafe, I just went away and spoke to the guy that owns Night Cafe, the main developer and the business owner, and said to him, what's going on here? And he reminded me that it's this. Um, this is different in, um, in uh, Stable Diffusion to the other two. In the other two, um, let me just go My Creations, Create. So if I go into Coherent, is it in here? I would always do that. Always. Um, but it's not the same in stable. So just to prove my point, let's come back into here. Um, duplicate it. Let's put it to 50. 16 images. We'll go widescreen. Let's be brave. And we'll leave it like that. And let's see what happens. So let's see all of these artifacts. All of these artifacts are caused by... Um, that being up too high. So let's see what happens on this next one. How cool is it that it happened on the video and it was like 8.52 when we were trying, um, when we started doing these um, and I went away and within two minutes I had an answer. Right, here we go. And the proof of the pudding is in the eating. Look at that. There you go. Is there any artifacts? Right, there's a couple artifacts that I would expect to see because I'm using the widescreen. Um, but come on, you know, look at that. That's pretty good. Let's see what else is in here. So, yeah, so, right. No, just for my own curiosity, let's duplicate it again. Let's bump it up to 70, 80. 
and let's see what happens this time. Uh, I'll leave it on widescreen and I'll leave it on that. Right, let's see what happens. So let's have a look at 80%. Let's have a look. Yeah, good, but you can see the little artifacts coming back. These weird lights. Like, sometimes it looks pretty cool, but yeah, there's definitely something going on there with those. But, you know, that's coming through from the stable diffusion bot itself. Um, but I'm still I'm still in love with these images. Right, let's try um let's try some other prompts. Um uh, did I I thought I saved some other ones. Yeah, I did. Right. Oh. Let's try this one. And we'll keep it, should we try, let's try, no I want to try, yeah let's try landscape, we'll keep it at 50 this time, I'm going to bump it onto that, because I like that one, again that's just through trial and error, and I'll show you what happens if we put a wee cheeky low res in there, but you've got to be aware the credits are different, you know, it is more expensive, um, but, well, it probably isn't when you think about it, because it's 14 credits for, you know, 16 high quality images, which you'll see in a minute. Okay, so we're back and um, I've done a few tests. Um, so this one, I was starting to think that the lights were, you know, some sort of artifact, um, even on low short, but it, it turns out it's not. That's just, that's the art, really. That's just the way it's coming through. Um, you know, these lights, because I tested it on, you know, a completely different um, option when the short thumb one, and then I used the, the uh, low, sh well, I thought I'd done, let me duplicate that, I thought I'd done Ah, yeah, so on the low res, and that's fine. You know, there's nothing wrong with that. So it's actually, the artifacts are high res, which we kind of thought, and um, uh, high res will cause the strange artifacts and uh, the prompt weight up. So keep the prompt weight down, stay around low. Thumbnail gives you the best results, and be careful with your wider um, aspect ratios. Um, but yeah, that's it. Um, get in there. Um, let me just do another couple just so that I can kind of prove that um, there's not really an issue. So, and this time I will see if I can duplicate the exact one I'm looking at by using the same prompt. Let's have a look. So, do that. Let's see what the, what was the seed for this one? Right, so I'll copy the seed over, and let me just make sure I've got all the other settings right. Uh, thumb short, so it was a so let's go sixteen thumbnail short. That's fine, so that's perfect. Uh, KLMS, yep, and thumb. Let me just make sure. Right, let's have a go. Let's see if it makes exactly the same one. But as you can see, so that was the other one I tested it on as well. You know, the blue light and that's there, but it's 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 aesthetically there. It's supposed to be there. Um, yeah, pretty cool. Yeah, pretty cool. And some of these are mental when you enhance them, you know. Um, you upscale these. Um, the details just berserk. Um, right, let's have a look. So, Tron bike, okay, so I used the same seed, but then again I used the seed on this, didn't I, so that's not, that doesn't really count. Uh, hmm, was this, do, 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 let me see, is it there? I uh, see it didn't create it actually, 
that's closest to it but it didn't actually create the other one which is interesting I'll have to do a wee bit of research into that because I was expecting that I just make sure everything's the same stable short thumb or oh, that's well, that's been times four but still what was the seed for it five six oh four one two five six oh four one two overall prompt weight fifty yeah well again it's all new at the moment so it's all kind of experimentation but I think this video's probably going on long enough and I've been ranting quite a bit but that's it go and enjoy it um I'm in the Discord if you've got any questions. I'm always there to try and help everybody, so just give me a shout. And as the next couple of days go over, and I'll gather some questions and I'll make more in-depth um, videos, okay? So enjoy. Um, check the the description for the video because there's a code in there that gets you 5% off if you buy any credits. Subscribe to a pro subscription or any of the merchandise. Um, Okay, take it easy. See you in the in the um, in the Discord.